You know, one question I get a lot, guys, man, how do you not burn out? How do you stay true to the course when that course could be five years, 10 years? How do you stay true to the path, man? Well, there's a real quick answer to a very complicated question. You don't burn out mentally because you always burn out physically. When you guys burn out physically, you push your current limitations to a new barrier, do you not? You hit failure and you go beyond. You force your body to create demand to grow even more. By burning out physically, you ensure that you grow physically. If you don't burn out physically, then even though you go to the gym, you put your time in there, you check the box, yeah, I went to the gym, man, all good. You come back around, you look in the mirror, man, I'm not seeing anything, I'm not seeing anything, I'm not seeing any changing, no. Well, because you haven't pushed yourself for your body to have a reason to change. If I gave a valid effort to something, day in, day out, I saw no change, I'd probably quit too. But the reason why you're quitting, man, the reason why mentally you're burning out, is because you're not burning out physically. It's that mind-body connection of invincibility when you sync them up, guys. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. The journey you're embarking on here with MFT28 is not an easy path. It's not for the ill-hearted or the weak-natured. It's for the strong people. And before you embark on this journey, mentally, you have to prepare yourself for it. No one is going to get worse before it gets better. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. If you're a guy that's just working out for the first time in this program, you hit a couple workouts, you're going to feel this soreness you've never felt before. That's the Dom's effect. Delayed onset muscle soreness. It's supposed to be that way. It means you're using muscles you haven't used before. Your body's waking up. Sharpening your arsenal for perfection of what you can be. But if you didn't know that, mentally, you didn't prepare for that, you think something's wrong, maybe it's time to stop. No, it's time to move free and further. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. And at the end of this race, guys, you're going to be more capable. The first step, guys, is knowing it's a tough road. But through that effort, builds the character of the person you want to be at the end. Accept that. How else do we stay on track? We document everything. To know where we are, guys, we must first know where we've been. And when we hit plateaus in our current day, the key to success, to break that plateau, is in our past. You take a picture of yourself on day one, you put it on the mirror. That's who I'll never be again. That's day one. Say goodbye to him. Behind that picture, you write down your weight, your height, all your information, your body fat, tape, tape measures around your arms, your waist, your thigh. Record where you've been. Because when the struggle gets hard and you feel like you're not going anywhere, you go back to that day one, we measure, go, it's working. How about them apples, man? I'm on set, I'm on path, I'm actually achieving something. It gives you confidence to continue the journey. Record everything, what you eat, your training habits, how you feel. But don't do it alone. Get a partner. That partner, they say champions come in pairs or two because you battle yourself into perfection. There are going to be days, man, where you're dragging ass. But there's every excuse in the world why not to go to the gym. Having that partner is going to ensure you get there. We will kid ourselves, man. We will fail all the time on ourselves. But it's a sad moment that fails on someone else's terms. When someone else is relying on you, that you say, no, man, I just can't make it. You won't be that guy. You'll show up just for your buddy's sake. And your buddy's energy will push you through a workout even though you're exhausted. And what's crazy about it, man, even though your energy levels are so low, by expending more energy, you just gain so much more in the back end. It's crazy. And all of a sudden, you have this natural high. With the problems you once had going before the gym that seemed overwhelming, you come out of that gym f***ing pumped up, man, mind, body, connected. Those same, same problems don't look so bad. You're generating solutions to them. You're seeing ways in and out of them all because you're thinking positively. Your partner you owe that to. He got you into the gym, and there are going to be days he's down and out, and you're going to get him into the gym. Not only is a partner vital to get into the gym, but make sure the sets go to failure. When you hit failure on your own, man, you can't go anymore. That partner gets three or four more sets. That makes all the difference, man. Of hitting your failure and going past it, that's where the growth is. Your partner ensures you get there. You gotta have an end goal in sight. What is that all about? Something in the near future, relative future, that gives value to today. 90 days out, man, I'm gonna run a marathon. 90 days out, I'm going to enter a bodybuilding contest. 90 days out, the family reunion, high school reunion, I'm going to look my best. 90 days to become that person I want to be. 
to turn that dream into a reality. I got 90 days. Today is 190th of that opportunity. If I don't have a 90 day end state, there's no bookends. I can easily push off my responsibilities of today into tomorrow and not feel bad about it. But when there's an end, then today has value all of a sudden, doesn't it? If I blow off today into tomorrow, I just lost 190th of the chance to become that You get the mind right. If you believe it, your body physically will find a way to make it happen. That's MFT 28.